What's up guys, my name is Cal and today I'm going to be showing you how to free up space on your Mac's hard drive. Uh, you may be running out of space, the easy way to tell is just go to the little Apple symbol in the top left corner, click about this Mac and then go to the top storage uh, tab and you can see this here is your Macintosh HD hard drive uh, with how many gigabytes you have and how many you've been, uh, how many are free and what is being used. Now this is an easy way to tell what is being, uh, what is taking up the most amount of space. You can see other is 720 gigabytes. That's pretty crazy. Um, basically what other is, is anything not classified as a movie, app, audio, photo, or backup. So this includes documents, um, system files, stuff like that, um, which can be kind of tricky to locate. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, find an easy way to see what files are taking up the most space and then delete them. So start off by going into Finder. Um, and just real quick, if there's anything on this sidebar here that you don't see in your Finder, just go to Finder, Preferences, and then the Sidebar tab at the top. And you can see you can check what you want shown in the left there. Um, the ones you're going to need checked is All My Files. Um, and then you're also going to need under Devices, whatever the name of your iMac is. You can see there it just says Callahan's iMac, um, which is what Cal is short for. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you have that checked. Um, and right off the bat, all my files, you can go ahead and go to this tab here, the six boxes, and make sure that size is selected, which will uh, organize everything from least to greatest uh, in terms of what it's taking up on your hard drive. You can see this is taking up the most. Movies, obviously, a lot, 144 megabytes. This isn't a ton, but you know it is a sizable amount. So you can go through here, just keep scrolling down. You see this is from 100 megabytes to 10 gigabytes. Um, just scroll down and anything you see that you don't need, you can go ahead and delete. Um, interesting to note, uh, don't skip over the photos section because sometimes there are photos on your Mac that don't actually show up in iPhoto or uh, the new photos app. So definitely go ahead and check that because sometimes there's a bunch of photos that you didn't even know were on there um, or if you forgot that were on there that you can just delete uh, real easy. So the other way is go to devices, uh, like I said before, and then hold command F on your keyboard. Um, this will bring up this tab, uh, it'll say search this Mac, um, and under the kind tab, go ahead and select other, and then it'll bring up this menu, you can either search for it or just scroll down until you see um, file size. So definitely uncheck anything if it's been checked, um, all you want checked is file size, so just go through, um, uncheck everything else. Again, the only the only one that you want checked is file size. So you can see there, file size, click OK. And then it'll bring up this tab here. So file size, change equals um, to is greater than, and then change kilobytes uh, to gigabytes. Uh, and then you can type in, you know, just start off with one gigabyte is fine. And you can see it immediately brings up everything. It's kind of similar to the all my files, except for you get more control over it. So I can go 10 gigabytes, you can see the only thing that's 10 gigabytes is this Final Cut Pro file, which houses probably all, all of my movies. Um, so that's why that's so big. But you can also mess around with it, change it to megabytes, and just do 100 is a fine place to start. Um, and then it scrolls through here, and you will see a bunch of stuff that you don't, you probably don't need or you didn't even remember was on there. Um, and the easiest way is just to delete it by just selecting it and then dragging it to the trash and then emptying the trash. Um, now, something to note, if it says it's in use, just click continue, um, and it should delete it anyway. For some reason, it thinks it's still in use, even though I haven't used that for a while. Um, for some reason, it's not deleting it. You can also make sure that if you go to Finder, Preferences, um, Advanced, there's a box that says Empty Trash Securely. Basically what happens is when you delete stuff from your trash can on your Mac, it doesn't actually delete it, it just moves it to another file like hidden on your computer. Um, and basically what it does is every time you empty the trash, it overwrites those files until it fills up and then continues to, to cycle through all the stuff. Um, so it makes it easy to recover things that you've deleted before. However, once you check this box, uh, you can see it'll say empty securely. Um, and then that should, um, take a little bit longer, but it will empty the trash forever uh, and you won't have to worry about it hidden uh, hidden away, taking up space, even though you thought it was deleted. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. That is how to delete uh, files on your Mac to save, up, uh, save space, free up space. Um, and other than that, I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.